Like, do you see how close he is? Like, here's her elbow. Here's his stomach. That's too close. Like, I'm like, seriously, I don't know you like that. I am married. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing another part of the Sims 4 Not So Berry Challenge and today is going to be a great day because you know why? Because I got some interesting news to tell you of what happened in the last two parts, but let me tell you, it's going to be good. It's going to be real, real good. So as of right now, we have Eliza, Jamal, Paisley, and Rosie. They're all in the house right now, but they're all about to go back to work and school in a couple hours. So as of right now, we are just hanging around the house and crossing my fingers that, that Eliza might get promoted in this part. I'm really, really hoping that she gets promoted. Just so you know, we can get to the next like level of her career because we're at level 7 right now. And all we have to do is, like pretty much, we're almost done with Generation 1. All we have to do left is the career part. So we only have three more levels left. And the next career level is a pioneer of new technologies. And as right now, she is the laboratory leader. So, so freaking close. Like, we already completed the elements table that is right over here. We already completed the logic and mischief skill. We already completed the aspiration. Oh my, I am beyond happy because we completed everything besides the career. So we have quite some time left. And we have a couple more parts left until... She ages up into an elder. So we have 13 more parts until she ages up into an elder. And then that will be done. And then we can focus more on Rosita. Which she has 11 days. So technically we have 11 days until we can go into Generation 2. Which will probably be not that long. Because I will be working on and off camera just for career purposes wise. So let me tell you on who is pregnant in this household. So you, if you haven't watched the last two parts. I will link them down below. But it's... Jamal and Eliza got pregnant, but guess who's pregnant? It's freaking Jamal. Jamal's pregnant. He is with child by alien. I was upset when I found that out. I was like, wait, excuse me. What? What? Well, I'm sorry. Excuse me. What did you say? Pregnant by aliens? That's absurdly crazy. Oh, go to school. Go to school, little lady. Go to school. But yeah, I was kind of quite upset, but then I was like quite happy because we are kind of experiencing aliens in our own household and we don't have to go to six them all the time to really, I would say, experiment experiment on aliens and also experiment their, like, their alien life and how they kind of control. But either way, I'm just really happy but also very upset because we just had a child two parts ago and we aged her up, which was Paisley, and now we're pregnant with another child or two. Huh, I'm not stressed. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Everything is totally good. But yeah, so it wasn't just weird tummy aches. It was pregnancy. Man, oh man, oh man. Let me tell you, things will be getting real interesting for sure. So if tomorrow, I was going to speed this, on, speed this on up, actually. I might have her go ahead and work on one of her skills. What's the next skill she can actually really work on fully? I mean, she has a cooking and comedy skill to work on. I can get to level 10. I made, okay, I can work on her cooking skill. Yeah, I'll work on her cooking skill a little bit more. Ooh, but parenting level three. Oh yeah, and we're experiencing fitness stuff as of right now in this part. Oh, what is that glowing? I get an ugly picture screenshot right there. You know, I want to take a picture of all his pregnancy hormone craziness going on here. So as of right now, uh, before we go to work in about, oh, we have a couple minutes left. So I might just speed it up. Hmm, a school project. We're going to do the easy, the easy way out. So, it says we got performance gain small, which is great, which is awesome sauce. We just go to work now. We're going to join Eliza at the work. And it was weird because when I found that, like, it only, only bad things happen in this Let's Play. Like, we've been abducted by aliens. We've been, we've been bitten by a vampire. I'm like... Why did this happen to me? We have a moody child. We have, no, actually, just moody children. Like, first Rosita was a toddler, then a child, and now teenager with hormones. Oh, my good. Best, rest assured, it will get more interesting when, when she becomes a young adult. Because what will happen is that we'll move from this, like, lot and go over to, to um, San Maishuno and live in an apartment. And just kind of live over there because I feel like San Maishuno is kind of a, an awesome place to live in as a politician. And I think what we'll do is like kind of work our way up in the ranks of earning money, becoming a politician, and kind of move up onto like different places. So, that being said, we do have a quite a while. I need to change her outfit into everyday number two because I don't know what happened. I guess 
what I did is I deleted one of my custom con hairs that I had on her for a work outfit. And now it's like, it won't be there anymore. So that's just lovely. But first and foremost, we have to go ahead and view a piece of art. And also make a, a mix of Slimify. Oh, Slimify Serum. I kept on calling it, um... Slimify serum. <laughs> Don't know why. But let's go ahead and view this piece of art right here. Hey, Ava. Katowski. You're pretty, looking pretty cool. Is that a piece of art? It is art. Is it art? It's okay, tell me. You're viewing it. But is it art? I don't call this art. I call this a piece of trash. That's what it is. But it's art in your eyes. That's okay. Let's go ahead and synthesize a serum. But we need one more paisley. So that is something we can definitely, definitely get for sure. We're going to go ahead and actually purchase some seeds from the computer. Order them. Order. Purchase seeds. I think they're flowers or herbs. I'm going to get both. You know, I'm going to get both just because rest. I'm going to be on the safe side here. I need to make that some of my serum or someone in this household. So we have one more paisley. Where, where's the package right here? Okay. Open up seed packet and then open up this seed packet too. Yes. There we go. Wait, did we open it? Open up seed packet. Okay, now they're both open. Good. So we're going to go ahead and synthesize the serum. Simify serum. There we go. There we go. Hopefully it goes, you know, if you're successful at this job here of making the serum. Because if we if we cannot make another one, I probably should have cloned carrots. Because I haven't found any carrots lately. And I don't know where we can get them. And besides going to Windenburg in the Herd Park and getting one of those carrots. Uh, oh, well, uh, I'll figure something out. But as of right now, she's working on this serum. I need to find someone to hate. I need to find someone to torment in this in this workplace. I might torment you because I don't know you and you're a higher rank than me. So you're technically my boss, which I don't like. So I might have to kill you or torment you or torment your family. Best, you know, I'm going to hate you. Listen, I'm going to be rude to you. First it was Ashley. Now it's going to be you. Channing, wait, no, Chance Butterfield. Made of butter. That's what you are. You're just a butter face. So I'm going to be rude to you. Because that's what I do. And that's what Eliza does. So we have to analyze a plan. Which we can definitely do. We're going to go ahead and clone this paisley right here. Just in case if we need it again. That's all I care about. And then we need to go ahead and order a co-worker to analyze crystals. And then tinker something. Well I can, t I can go and order you around. Because I am a boss of you. And you can't tell me what to do. Fancy pants. Let's go ahead and order you, order a co-worker, to analyze crystals. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Oh, hey, lady. I don't know who you are, but are you higher rank than me? Do I have to hate you too? Extraterrestrial explorer. I feel like I have to be rude to her too, because I, I can't remember if she's a higher rank than me. I, you know what? I might have to be rude to you too. Okay. Well, we're going to have two enemies in this workplace in because if, if these people are hiring to me, I might have to go ahead and torment them all. Yeah, I'm going to mind control you, lady, to change your outfit because you're a piece of trash. Like your face. So mind control, change outfit, swimwear. Uh, not you because you're analyzing crystals for me. But Eric Lewis, we can have you change your outfit into something fancy, fancy. Mind control, change outfit to party. And Ava Katowski. Over here, we're going to change your outfit to your lovely formal wear. Hello, Eliza. This is Chance um, Chance the Butt Face Butterfield reporting for my attempts to analyze crystals. The results in some quads. Interesting. Nice to know. Nice to know. Awesome. That's pretty great. So now we have to clone a serum. I feel like we can actually clone the Slimify serum, but I don't want to clone that just yet. I might clone one of these... And I'll just clone this one. Whatever. Because we already have a lot of um the the food serum ones. And we don't need like seven of them. So I just don't need them. I don't need a lot of them. So after we get Ava Katowski changing her outfit to her formal wear. We'll have clone this. And then we'll tinker something else. Can we all tinker? I'll tinker Earl. Earl is our one of our. What's it? What's it? A mechanic. He's a constructor. Our construct. Yeah. He's part of this workplace. He's Earl. He's pretty. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that the fancy. Even though your weave was snatched, but you rest assured you look fancy. Fancy. I like it. I like it. Ooh, we need to keep these paisleys for later because I might actually make a plant or a garden in our house. Ooh, good. I'm going to keep both of them actually. Keep them both. There we go. 
I'm gonna sell these because these are 20 simoleons that I can actually keep for myself. There we go, that's better. And I also fixed our money. Excuse me, uh, sir, 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 sir. You're too close to me. Uh, I need you to take a little bit, like, you know, five million steps backwards away from my direction, please. Because I don't know, like, like, do you see how close he is? Like, here's her elbow, here's his stomach. That's too close. Like, I'm like, seriously, I don't know you like that. I am married. I have child, I have children, but I have two more. Okay, so you know what? Forget you, where's mean? I'm gonna shove you. L -l 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 get off, get out, get out of my face. Argue him. I don't, I don't care who he is. Um, well, okay, no, I wanna be rude. Oh, wrong person. Yeah, get off of my face, but face, Butterface, Butterfield, Channing Tatum. Rude, we're going to jeer him and then we need to go ahead Ooh, mix oral serum, contact aliens. Mmm. Read a book? Nah. I mean, I can be rude to him later. I might have to find where he lives so I can torment him even more. So let's go ahead and contact some aliens. Ooh. So what, did we do it? Did we do it? So this will bring aliens around and maybe they'll even abduct us. Oh, that's probably it. See, if, some, if she gets pregnant. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm really not. So you, since you're a higher rank than me, I'm going to have you, I'm going to mind control you to clean up this rasty butt face workplace. This is really a Pixar right here. So I'm going to mind control you and then we need to clean, read a book and then mix a snake serum. But Ava is on the place. I mean, I can go ahead and use this, but we don't have an, oh, we, we can. Okay, good. So mind control you, clean up the place. You're my slave. Clean. Make it spotless so I can see my face on the floor. Tavi, that's right, clean. <laughs> clean up this mess, like your face. Either way, so where are you? Oh, you're over here. I'm like, where is she going? The thing is like all over here. And I actually forgot we do have another place over here. And I didn't know we had all this space. Like literally, we had so much space around here. It's ridiculous. So now she's focused from alien contact, but also focused from being married, um, a good environment. And also she's like, mwah. <laughs> From Sim Ray. Same. Same. Oh, that's so nice. I love I love Eliza Thornberry. She's pretty cool. And I'm really excited to see how Generation kind of plays out from being a politician. So I'll be working on Eliza. Oh, no. One of, um, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Rosita. I'll be working on Rosita's, uh, her charisma skill because it'll allow us to be more, you know, political in such sort of way when speaking into the public and reading their minds. So that'd be kind of a good thing for us. Yeah, I'm happy. Have you guys played Not So Berry yet? Because it's really cool. I like it. I like, I personally do like this challenge because, you know, it allows me to play the game for what it is and also experience new different things that I haven't played before. And that's what I like about the Not So Berry challenge. It's different from other challenges. So Kayla and Zoe, you have done an amazing job on this challenge. So, we were already like at the very top anyway. And we already, ooh. Nice. So we might actually get a promotion today. And we only have about, how long? One hour left. So I guess we can read a book, which will, okay, this dude needs to, I'm going to freeze him. I don't really care who he is. I'm going to have to freeze you because you're a piece of trash. Like, I feel like you're Ashley's cousin for some odd reason. Like, Chance Butterfield. Like, who has that name, Butterfield? Like, seriously, who are you? I don't like you. Your swimsuit is trash. Ashley is trash. So Ashley must be your cousin or you might be Ashley's son-in-law or distant cousin or father. You might be Ashley's father because I have to freeze you because you're related to Ashley. This is why you're trash. Yeah, this is why you're a piece of trash like Ashley. There we go. Oh, well. Oh, well. Anyway, moving right along, we're going to go ahead and read a book. Wait, can we read a book actually? Upstairs. Yeah, right here. Okay, there's a book right here. We're gonna read something. Something that will make us smart. And, and like, I wonder if Eliza will rule the world one day. I feel like she would, just because how evil she is and how she can sabotage so many objects in the world, but also just be, transform people and also can contact aliens for, for who knows. Like, seriously, she can like, be evil. She can be like the evil queen from Once Upon a Time. Oh my gosh. But she's reading something which is great. Which will like kind of 
Yeah, it's gonna be a long book. Oh well, well at least we'll get promoted. Hopefully, are we gonna get promoted? I don't think we have enough time to. No, we're so, we we're so close, but we did a fantastic job at work today. Oh man, I thought we were to get promoted though. Maybe maybe next part we'll get promoted, but nevertheless we might actually get promoted in the next part and maybe have the babies in the next part. So go ahead and leave some baby names down in the comments just because we might have the baby in the next part and I kind of want to have, I want to be ready for the baby or babies because if it's babies, I might have a mental breakdown and not prepared for it. Like every single time I do a let's play, there's either a death, there's either a pregnancy, an unexpected pregnancy by aliens or on the whim, um, something can catch on fire. I don't know, just crazy things happen in my life and I don't like it, but I also do like it because I like craziness, craziness and drama and, you know, oh, well, only in The Sims. In real life, I cannot handle drama or crazy, even though I'm crazy. I don't know, that, that's a little bit, that's a little bit of a, a conspiracy, that's a thing that I can actually kind of handle. Not really though. I don't know, I'm crazy. This is why people don't listen to me in real life because I'm, I don't make any sense. But at least we got from well, at least we got some money from our from our household. Oh hey, ooh, text emergency. I texted so I texted someone that didn't text back, and it's been like an hour. What should I, should I text them again? See, everyone has this problem all the time. Like I'm a person who like I get a I get a text message text message, and I don't reply for like three days. I'm a, a terrible friend. Well. Anyway, so her manners went down, but I really don't care about that. But let's go ahead and explore. I do really want to explore the, the tree again because we already have a plant already. We don't really need that. But we're going to go and water the plant and get that stuff done. But where is Jamal? Jamal's down here peeing on the toilet, as always, because he's pregnant. Because I can't tell what trimester he's in as of right now. Because I'm really curious. Is this toilet dirty too? It's dirty. No. Clean that nasty toilet and clean this too. Man, that's dirty. What trimester are you in, actually? I, I really want to know. I don't want to look at it, because if I see... Because, like, with MC Commander Mod, it shows you the trimester, how many kids you're having, and it just shows you who's the father or mother or whatever, and it just shows you so many different things, and I might actually do a mod review of that soon, just so you guys can, like, have it. Okay, can we do some more choices? We're going to... Wait, can we upgrade this? Can I upgrade this? No, I cannot, which I won't. Oh, I don't know what else to do though. I kind of want to, I don't want to contact aliens again because if I do, there might be some problems. I'm going to frame the canvas and then sell it to Collector. So now he's having a, a grime time from cleaning. That I can, I can understand. I don't like cleaning pers personally. So we needed to get to level nine of the painting skill and get to level four of the logic and then continue painting. What is your painting skill at right, as of right now? What percentage is it at? Well, your painting skill is at... 58 and then your logic skills at level well, percent 45. Okay, good, good. Okay, so, no, okay, Paisley's dirty. She needs to go ahead and get a bath and need to change her diaper. I want to go out soon because it's like right now it's 9 p.m. Adopt as care dependent. I mean, sure, why not? But right nearly. So I think we'll do what we'll do is have Eliza go over to Eliza's house, but might over go to. Mm, whose house I want to go over to actually because we do have a, quite some time and the part's not as long It's like only 20 minutes long anyway. Oh No, 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 no I want Rosita to find a boyfriend or someone to love because now that will be kind of good Because she does need to find someone to marry but leave at the altar and also have a child with because that's one of the rules for generation one so I do have to pick up the pace with the relationship and everything else so I think what I'll do is I'll go over to Jason Ori's house because he's a pretty cool kid and I might get to know him. And I was going to date Max, but I realized he's a young adult and married to Miko. Yeah, that's a problem. So, you know, we don't have time for that. So, ooh, clearly same, same, same. Perfect screenshot for this. Perfect screenshot. I love it. There we go. Much better. But, yeah. So, we're going to go and travel over to Jason's house. Jason, not Jason the murderer from Friday the 13th, but Jason in this game who I think parents is Miko and the father is someone else, but that's just quite awkward. So we're going to go over to Sam Maishuno and see if he's actually there. Cause I can't remember. He might be in the karaoke's household. Let's see. 
Vendril. Because Miko... Because the Vendril household... Ooh. Hold up. Oh, that's the other person. Okay. <laughs> like, wait, what? So where do they live? The Peck household. Karaoke legends. I'm... So they don't live there. So it looks like that darling's in the household. Those are aliens. That's lovely. Wait, would they be in Windenburg, though? Because their last name is Vengeance. So I have to find the... Ooh. Ooh, that's not gonna be, that's not gonna be good at all. How am I gonna find them when I can't f see where they are at? Hmm, no, I'm gonna have to go over to Windenburg. Which we're already at. Already at, so I gotta find their house. So the... What in the world? They all live together. Are these? We're gonna go and travel to this chaos of a household here by ourselves with only Rosita because I might have to change his skin color. He's quite pale. He doesn't get out much. He's quite. Yeah, he doesn't get all the sun. He doesn't get all that vitamin D. See, okay, I don't go outside because I don't have time for that because outside is literally sickness. Like, who goes outside anyway? Like, in my neighborhood. There are no kids who go outside. Like, we're all literally inside playing video games or just being literally anti-social or either being, I would say, I don't know, just not being outdoorsy. I, like, when I was, like, very, very young, like, around, like, I say, I would say 10 when I first moved here, I would say, like, there were so many kids. We were all, like, the same age anyway, and we were always outside, always doing, like, lemonade stands, always doing, like, karaoke without like hanging out like literally hanging out with each other in their houses going outside playing around at the playground at the school and everything like that and going to parks and just having parties well kids parties technically because we were young back then but it was like we were always outside but now like nowadays like kids like wait what is outside now we have like ipads we have cell phones smartphones like back in my day when i was 10 we didn't have smartphones we didn't have ipads what is wrong with her legs like oh my gosh that was a glitch like seriously, like we didn't have iPads, we didn't have cell phones, we didn't have any smartphones, we had the outdoors, and that was it. This is the most ugliest house I've ever seen in my entire life. I might need to replace it with Kayla's build, because that build is a little bit better. And all the space is kind of unnecessary, like, clearly. This all is so huge, but they only use that much space. But oh, but oh well. Oh, tense. Oh, disobedient toddler. Uh, what to do? How does one convince a toddler to do anything? Such defense. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay. Ooh. They have a basement? What? Ooh. Nice basement, I see. So, Jason. Oh, here's Jason. Hey. Got small beady eyes. Got nice blue eyes, too. So, we're gonna go ahead and talk to him for a little bit because I want to talk to him Be you know, I sent him a flirty text the other day and, uh, yeah. We're gonna actually be single and ready to mingle. But first and foremost, you gotta change those pants and change those shoes. I might actually give him a makeover pretty soon. Probably I'll do it off camera actually. I'll do a makeover for him off camera just because the way he is. I mean, he's very handsome, but his outfits are just very, very ugly. I don't have time for that. Like if you wanna be a, if you wanna marry a politician, you gotta be wearing fashionable clothes and be cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and compliment his appearance and you know, do a nice little pickup line because we do have a good charisma skill as of right now. We're gonna give him a hug too because our charisma skill is at level five, and that's pretty great. So we're kind of halfway there to level 10 and becoming that good old fashioned awesome politician. Oh no, oh no, let's stop that. Oh, he gave us a hug. That's nice. We're gonna share and securities ask for reassurance too. Uh, compliment his appearance. Yes, please. Do it, please. Can I... A smooth recovery, please. And then... Then... I'll kiss his hand. Please work. Please work. Oh, God. I want to I wanna seduce you. Ooh. We did it work? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Well, no, Jason. Oh, man. Ask for reassurance, please. Please accept me for who I am. I want to be loved. I want to be loved. Oh, well. So hopefully Ask for Reassurance will help. Uh, yep. Did it work? Are you not embarrassed anymore? Well, she's not embarrassed anymore. We'll whisper about crush, even though you're my crush anyway. Ooh, shout for members of Jason. Let's not do that today. Humble his appearance and tell some more jokes. Ooh, make, make a funny face. Do that. And then we can go ahead and mm, 
Cumberland's appearance again. I feel like complimenting his appearance multiple times will open him up a little bit more just because it'll be easier. Just, you know, it'll just be easier. Let's see. Ooh, we can actually, oh, exchange numbers. What are you doing? Oh, he's crying in the closet. Oh, that's so sad. Well, we can go and exchange phone numbers. Hey, Jason. Go ahead and can I have your digits, please? Um, exchange phone numbers, please. Jason, give me your phone number. Phone number? This is, let me get my phone out. Like, dot, dot, dot. I love you. Ah, Jason, what do you, how do you react? Yes? <gasps> Yay! Awesome! Sweet doggy dog. Now he digs us. Sweet. So now we can go ahead and do a nice compliment his appearance and do a nice little confident, bold pickup line because we are confident that he will be ours and we're going to embrace him. It's like, Ubate, <laughs> yeah. Sway them hips because got go hips don't lie. Ooh, flirty, yeah. And now we're going to hold hands. And one last thing, I think we're going to go on a date tomorrow afterwards just because, you know, we'll make this whole date official and be who we want to be. Yes, be who we want to be. Ooh. We're going to go ahead and attempt to seduce with the hips of steel because he swayed them hips like the hips don't lie like that. Look at that booty. Anyway, he literally like, oh, look at that. Look, it's like, oh, I see. I see. And they have Rosita over here trying to sway her hips like her hips don't lie. But she's like, that's right. That's right. I got hips of steel and because my hips don't lie for sure. <laughs> but either way, I'm gonna actually going to wrap up this part right here when this little screenshot right here, like literally, this, this is kind of hilarious. Like, this is kind of funny. This is real funny. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, are you excited for this challenge to be wrapping up in Generation 1 to Generation 2? Have you done this for yourself? Let me know down in the comments below, as always. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!